Hi, this is Brett here at shysky.com. I'm going to teach you another little trick on how I solder solar cells. The items that you're going to need, you're going to need a solder. I use a 6040 resin core solder. I have a flux pin here with me. And then we have our solar tabs. I mean our cell tabs. What I'm going to do at this time is, the first thing I do is make sure that I have pre-cut tabs. I take my flex pen, make sure that it's working, and most people with a flex pen, you want to make sure that you actually have good flex at the end of it. I run a strip right along where I'm going to solder on both sides of the cell. And what I do at this point is I take a piece of tabbing wire. I like to place it down. Some people put a, a little bead at one end and then I take my little jeweler block which acts as a third hand. I've got a piece of solder and what I'm doing here is I'm just getting the heat to transfer so I'm not overheating the cell or the, the tab and once I have that and I see the solder flow I use a push technique. I can now lift up my block and it's kept my tab relatively very straight and in line. I just keep using a push technique all the way across. And then sometimes at the very end, I may want to just add one little drop. And now you have just tabbed your cell. You do this twice, I'm not going to do it because I think you pretty much understand what I just did. And then when you get ready to do the back, the same thing applies. On most solar panels, your rear tabs are going to have little boxes or box or lines in the back that you're going to want to follow. You grab another tabbing strip, your flex pin, and I just put a little mark on there for flex. And I use the same method that I do on the front. But I only have to hit three strips on there. And as I did on the front, like I said, I like to use my third hand, which is my little jeweler's block. It's a little piece of metal, not heavy enough to crack a solar cell. And I line it up. Sometimes what else you can do, just to throw out there as a trick, is I take my finger and I make sure that my tabbing wire is, is, is very straight. I set the block gently on the cell. I come over, I preheat my soldering iron, just get a little heat there so I'm not vibrating and hitting my cell with it. I place it on the tab. I get a drop, boom. Right there we have it, that's one. And with the block, a lot of times, after you get that first solder there, it actually just sets there very neat and pre-positions your wire where you're not having to chase it or you're getting lifts off of it. There you have it. This is Brett with shysky.com.